Hey guys, Kevin here in Japan. All lit up. Uh, not like lit up by the light, not lit up by like alcohol or anything. Um, so it's after 9 p.m. Sunday night. Tomorrow's a holiday. I am friggin' knackered. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm just coming back from the supermarket because I realized that we had no more coffee in the house. So, And I cannot wake up on a holiday Monday morning without coffee to put the coffee maker. So I had to go to the supermarket and get some coffee. Um, today we decided to go to Kyoto with my family and uh, had no idea what we are getting ourselves in for. I mean, my wife and I both haven't been to Kyoto in several years, um, but you know, we went right when Momiji is beginning. Actually, it should be further progressed, but good old climate change. Uh, Momiji is when the maple leaves change color and start you know, turning red and orange and yellow and all that jazz. Um, that should be happening full force right now. It's been a very warm year, go figure, climate change, right? And um, actually a lot of the maple trees are still green, the leaves are still green. But um, we, uh, we, uh, we went there and uh, we took the, the Hankyu because we want to go to, we want to go to Kimizudera, big temple. And we want to get off of the Kawanamachi station, I think it's called. I may have pronounced it wrong. The last stop. On the Hankyu line to Kyoto, and that was fine on our way to Juso, just outside of Osaka, or in Osaka. But then it got so crowded, oh my god, so packed. And we got a baby stroller with my daughter Rena in it, my son's there, and they're getting squished and crushed and squished and crushed. And at one point, it's like we thought the baby stroller was actually gonna break with Rena in it, and we're like yelling at people, like, stop pushing, stop pushing. And we're pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, it was awful, it was horrible. And then just as like there's this one old okay I'll say it this old bitch just as she's about to get off her stop she basically says to my wife you shouldn't have that stroller folded with that baby in it it takes up three places for people and luckily there were some nice people on the train so when those people got off that woman got off the hag um, some younger people who were nice helped us move the stroller and get it to a better position it was really rough and then okay so then we get to Kyoto and I've never seen it so packed I mean I know it's a holiday weekend I know it's during Momiji season but it's just insane I mean I, I was there during Momiji season on a weekend three years ago with my friend John Pham and it was nothing like this uh, it, it was so the streets were so crowded especially with tour groups there were so many tour groups and I I've, I've been reading in the news recently that they're you know, tourism was really blowing up in, in Japan, especially with Chinese tourists coming, um, which is a great thing for the Japanese economy. It's wonderful, but it sucks when you, you're there trying to experience the stuff too. Um, the, the the main street leading up to or the the street leading up to Kimizudera was so crowded that like literally it stopped. Like, there were too many people, and we were probably like. More, uh, less than, a little less than a kilometer away from the place, and we could move. Like it was like it stopped, and we were just kind of shuffling along slowly, like a few centimeters by a few centimeters. And finally, we, there was a family behind us who, who who said they just they were just like we give up, we can't deal with this, we're leaving, and we decided to do the same to just turn around and not see Kimizu that and go somewhere else. Because I mean, even if eventually we, we waited in line down the street to get up there, it would not have been an enjoyable experience. And the kids were tired, the kids were stressed, and uh, we went to, I can't remember the name, but we went to a temple where there weren't so many people, and that was nice. We took some nice pictures in a park, and that was okay. And then, uh, Japan, little tiny kids out playing at nine o'clock at night. There you go. My kids have been in bed for quite a long time now. Um, uh, so yeah, so um, you know, we get the train back, and thank God we were able to get seats the whole way back. And the kids are said to, but my wife, my daughter, my two-year-old was just having tantrum after tantrum after tantrum on the train on the way back. Oh, oh. exhausting, exhausting. So tomorrow's a holiday. It's a Labor Day slash Thanksgiving, and I'm doing nothing. It's just the rain. I'm just gonna lay around the house like a slug tomorrow. A giant sea slug. Yeah. So that's it. Um, you'll see some pictures popping up on my Instagram feed and maybe a few on Facebook, but mostly my Instagram feed. So if you're interested in following me on Instagram, the link is below. 
all that stuff. So take care, guys. Okay, I've been here in Japan.